Hello and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to jump in straight away and ask for you to click that subscribe and I also wanted to give a brief introduction to this video before we jump into seeing the actual uh, mouses and I just wanted to stress that, that this is, isn't a review, this is very much a opinion piece and a bit of a comparison. Unfortunately I had a very small window of having all three of these together at the same time due to uh, a pick up um, one of the mouses I, I actually have returned as, as I will explain in the video and unfortunately the very small window that I had to make this video um, I was actually also hung over so I just want you to know that there are going to be some random edits in this just where I was struggling to get the words out that I wanted to get out but with that in mind hopefully it's not too bad of a video I wanted to just make it uh, this introduction whilst I'm editing it because I, I noticed it it is a bit jumpy, but in terms of the actual uh, information I wanted to get across, uh, I think I, I just about managed it in my hungover state. So hopefully this video is uh, enjoyable to you and worth you watching, especially if you're looking at getting a new Razer mouse. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight down into the video. Obviously you can see here we've got the Def Adder uh, version 2, this is the wired version. We've then got the Viper Ultimate. Um, as you can obviously see as well, this is uh, wireless. And then the uh, Ballisk uh, from Razer, also wireless here. And the reason why I've got three of these, uh, typically, you know, you only need one, one mouse to play with. I had the Death Adder uh, for the longest time. I've had that several, several months, um, got it as a gift and uh, unfortunately, I wanted to move away from wired mouses. I actually really enjoy the Death Adder. It feels fantastic as we'll have a closer look shortly. Um, so I then moved on to purchase the Viper Ultimate. Unfortunately, I've got some problems with the dock in that it doesn't actually charge. Uh, these docks you buy, you can buy them separately without a dock, but I wanted the dock. Um, Unfortunately, the one that I got here, uh, these uh, two prongs are supposed to be a lot further out for some reason. It was uh, faulty uh, when I purchased it. I also did play with it a little bit and as we we'll, we'll get on to that, I wasn't particularly that pleased with the, the performance from the Viper Ultimate. Um, and moving on to this one, the, the Ballisk, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, I know that this is a, a Logitech design that Razer stole, however, this is the mouse that I'm going to be keeping with. So I'm not really calling this a review because it's pretty hard to review a mouse. Either you're just reading off of a tech specification or the back of the box. Um, it's, it's quite hard to, to really give uh, some juicy details. All these mouses uh, do pretty much the same job, obviously. They, they are responsive. They're all made you know, by the same company. They are actually really fantastic in terms of gameplay performance. So let's have a closer look at the, the individual mouses then and I'll give you my take. As I said here, we'll start off with the, the Death Adder um, wired version as I've mentioned. You can get this wireless and I was very tempted to do so because this mouse is actually pretty flawless for me. I feel uh, it, it, it feels fantastic. I play predominantly claw grip and uh, your fingers and thumb just sit very naturally on this mouse. It, it has uh, two sort of sloped uh, buttons there as you can see so your fingers kind of lie right in those grooves and it, it just feels really comfortable. So side buttons you've got two pretty huge um, areas here for each individual button and a very nice rubber grip here uh, which you can see is textured to just uh, add some stability when you're not using the buttons. You can see here I've got a little mark on mine I, I do use these buttons uh, quite a lot and it's nice big wide area uh, easy to feel the, the middle groove there so you know which button you're actually using uh, when it comes to it. Uh, mouse wheel, uh, this does light up RGB, obviously it's not plugged in at the moment so I can't show you that. You can feel it's got a click, or you can hear rather, it's got the click and hopefully you can hear that, it's a very subtle roll on it. There is a, you can feel a sort of almost a, a click as you move it so it's got some grooves in there and it does perform quite well. However, I would have liked that a bit more tactile, a bit more rugged. On the back, you've got your standard laser here. It's actually, as I said, very, very accurate. You've got two profiles here, so you can have these um, 
programmed obviously on your computer so that's for, for colors and also if you want the buttons to do different things you can change that and then you've got these two buttons here on the top that is uh, to change um, your bit like the profile you can change on the fly your uh, di sorry the dpi um, to basically change mouse sensitivity so how quickly your mouse pointer or cursor moves across the screen as you move the mouse all in all a very very good mouse highly recommend this so then the viper ultimate as i said this is a wireless version with the charging dock it does come with a wire as well uh, again it's the the kind of material version rather than a, a plastic cable and it's high quality as you'd expect from razor so um you can plug this straight in if you want to play uh if i can yeah, so it plugs straight in if you want to play wired whilst it's charging. However, you're never really going to need to do that unless you really want to because the cable charges into there, into the dock, and then the dock becomes your, your charging station as you play or as you wait for it to charge. Now, in terms of um, actually holding a charge, it's supposed to hold for, I think, 70 hours. So you're, you're very rarely going to be worrying about your battery on this. As you can see, the wireless in the dock there, you, you don't need to use the dock if you don't want it uh, for clutter reasons, perhaps. So you just plug that straight into your PC and it will discover your mouse. So moving on to the actual mouse then, and in terms of feel, it's got the symmetrical um, profile to this. In terms of feel, it doesn't quite feel as nice as the Death Adder. It's lighter and obviously it's wireless, so you have the comfort of not worrying about the, the, the wire getting in the way or the feel as you move around the mouse. And it does have these two dips again on the uh, buttons for your fingers. However, because it's symmetrical and it can be used both left-handed and right-handed, it just doesn't feel as nice in your grip. Now, again, I play claw mostly, so my outside fingers there they kind of rub against these two buttons, which have the exact same um, ability. I think you can block them out if you want to, but it's just still rather annoying accidentally pushing on those buttons as you're playing. Even if you block them out, it still just doesn't feel that nice. Visually though, it does look very appealing with the symmetrical design, the light of the logo, you can turn that on and off. There's no light on the scroll wheel, unfortunately, but the scroll wheel itself is actually a bit more rugged than the Death Adder. I'd appreciate that this is a slightly nicer version of the scroll wheel. Again, everything's programmable and you've got your um, programmable button there, so indicated by the color dot and an on off switch. So the only downside to this is I just don't like the fill factor which is part of the reason why I wanted to look at another mouse. In terms of responsiveness, it works very well. You can hear it's actually a bit more clicky with the optical switches in this over the Death Adder. And I can see why people do like this, but just for me, it's not, it's not good enough in terms of the actual feel with the side buttons predominantly. Moving on to our final mouse here for today, we've got the Bal Balisk. Balisk, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, so I'm gonna stop calling it that and just refer to it as the final mouse. So again, it's wireless. You can get this as well as the Viper in wired form if you prefer, and it's a lot cheaper actually. So if you're on a budget, I'd recommend doing so. I know that this mouse is basically a design ripoff from Logitech, um, so I won't go into comparing that version. I'm just gonna talk about this. Uh, fantastic mouse so in terms of feel it you've got the groove for your thumb with some added stability there on this uh, rubberized grip uh, that goes right under your thumb you've got two big buttons um, that are sort of slimline so they're they're long but they don't dip really low they're actually my preferred buttons out of all three mouses Again, you've got grooves in the top of the mouse for your fingers to lie, and they are slightly offset on this design. Whoops. Meaning that when you're actually sort of sat with the mouse, your fingers just lie very naturally. It's very comfortable on this. In terms of the, the lighting, we've got the logo, you've got the scroll wheel on this, and then there's extra lighting 
kind of on the side there uh, where your thumb sits or just above where the buttons lie. Uh, again, two profiles uh, buttons, uh, something that was missing from the, the Viper Ultimate. Uh, in terms of the wireless and everything like that, it's exactly the same. The only extra feature, uh, you've got a bigger mouse wheel, it feels a bit more sturdy again, noisier, a lot better feeling actually from this one. And on the back here, you've got a resistance toggle, so you can actually have this feeling a lot more sturdy i guess is the word i use uh, or you can have it kind of a lot softer um, so you don't really even sort of notice that it's clicking here it's kind of not i can't feel the clicks you can slightly but not really if i whack this onto to full it's a lot more noticeable if you just like to click over um, a lot more a lot more defined outside of that this is pretty much the perfect mouse for me. There is a, an extra toggle here where you can have a, a, an additional button that you can profile to do almost anything. It's not your standard button, it's more of a flipper type thing, a paddle. Um, but outside of that, this mouse is just feels fantastic. Clicks sound the best out of all three. And yeah, in terms of responsiveness, they, they're all pretty much identical in terms of actual performance. One thing that I will just go back to, I forgot to say on this Viper Ultimate, the buttons on the side are actually, you can't really feel the middle bit. Or not that well, you can't feel the middle bit that well. So when you're trying to search for which button to push, it will come over time, but initially, it's hard to differentiate which one you're trying to click, especially if you're used to another mouse that has very obvious uh, definitions about them in terms of size. I know that I'm at the front there and I'm at the back there. When I started using this one, the front is kind of gone, so you have to move it back a little bit and then back even further for that second button. Again, with this mouse here, no problem at all. Very easy to define. So yeah, that I appreciate. Again, it's not a review. It's hard to review these because you just sound like you're reading off a tech sheet or specification. And um, for me, it's more about uh, a preference. I, I do recommend trying to get either this one or the Death Adder. And I, personally, unless you're left-handed, I would stay away from the Viper Ultimate. One other thing I did forget to mention is the charging docks. They, they do also glow up, so I have some footage to sort of show that. But other than that, I know, again, it's a bit of a ramble for me. I don't come into these super prepared. I just want to try and get over whilst I've got all three mouses together. Uh, I have already sold the Death Adder, unfortunately. I would have liked to have kept that, but I don't need a wild version. And I've sent the Viper back because uh, the charging dock doesn't work and I don't actually like the feel. Um, so I'm keeping this one. This is the gold standard from now on, and hopefully, it lasts a long time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.